Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. We are hooked up to a uh, 2007 International here right now. Um, there's our truck, there's our TXT box. We're Bluetooth to the laptop. So on this particular vehicle, we have 125 different sensors being shown. So that'll show you your positions, pressures, temperatures, everything you need to know about going out with that vehicle. I'll just scroll down here a little bit to show you some. So when it says not available, that just means that truck does not have that sensor on it. And the zeros is because the truck is not actually running. Dashboard will give you your graphical representation of what's going on with some of these different sensors and values. So this particular one, again, it's giving you manner for aerial temperature, VGT, duty cycle, and everything else that's picking up in that parameter tab. Click over on faults. This is where you'll see all your active and inactive fault codes. So at the very top, you'll see there's your active fault codes, inactive fault codes. You can double click them, get your actual codes. We have DTC solutions on here, which tells you how to fix all the codes. We also have a slug of service manuals. So if I go to the desktop and go to the manuals folder, and then let's go down here to international, and then we'll go to the engines, and let's pick DT 466570 for this emission year. There's our, all of our manuals, including wiring diagrams, service manuals, breakdowns, all kinds of information is in there. So as I scroll through that just real quick so you can kind of get an idea of what's in there, it's the same exact stuff that's used at the dealerships. All right, so let's close that manual. Let's go back into the system here. If I click on ECU info, this is where I'll get my VIN number, rated horsepower, distance, fuel used, all kinds of good information that people always want to know about. The, all the good stuff is right here in activations and settings. So in activations, you'll find all the exact same tests that are in the ServiceMax software. And the same rules apply. You can't just go jump to an injector test without doing the standard test first, things of that nature. Uh, if you click the little icon on when you highlight them, it'll bring you up some information on how you have to complete the test and what you need to do. So let's go back there. Let's go over to the settings tab. And this is where you're gonna find all your DPF resets, um, force regens, service interval resets, parameter changing, and there are a slug of them. So everything you would ever need to do on these engines, I'm just gonna scroll through this real quick so you can kind of get an idea of what's in there and what it does. All right, so again, there's your maximum vehicle speeds you can set, uh, fuel use, service intervals. I know all your service interval resets are in here for like your DPFs and your uh, oil change indicator lights. So there's your service interval rest, reset request command we were just talking about. Um, but all those commands are in there and they're very simple to use. You would just click into them, hit the confirm button, hit start, hit the confirm button, and away you go. So that's the real quick and dirty on the 2007, 2006-ish. <laughs> International. Thank you.